Hi guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So today I want to take another look at Groove Maps with you guys, which is a feature that I already touched upon in my drag and drop video. What I've shown you in my drag and drop video is really just the tip of the iceberg of what Groove Maps can do. You can also use them to, for example, apply the velocity curve of one specific part onto another one, or use it as a fantastic sample replacement tool when you're working with audio and MIDI triggers. Let's check it out. So in my first example here, I want to show you how easy it is to work with Groove Maps as a sample replacement tool. For example, if you want to beef up your live recording with some samples from, say, Toontrack Superior Drummer, a VST instrument. So first of all, let's listen to what we got really quickly. Alright, so that's a really nice groove, but especially to my ear, the kick and also the snare top, they could both use a little bit of beef. Right, so how would we go about that? Well, it's incredibly easy. First of all, we want to take the kick event to start, and we're going to switch to the audio bend menu. Now we're going to analyze this, and just make sure that all of the bend markers have been detecting the transients correctly. So right here, I can see that everything has been detected. Afterwards, we switch to the Quantize menu and click on the Groove tab. Now we just drag the entire event part of the kick to the Groove box here. And now I can just drag in any instrument of my choice. In this case, I'm going for the Tune Track Superior Drummer. And then I just drag my groove onto this newly created instrument track. It really is that easy. Once I've done so, I right click, go to musical functions, hit transpose, and make sure that everything is set to the C1 note, which is the general MIDI trigger of kick drums. So now let's listen to what we got. Without and with. without, with. So that's already a lot more punch just from this one replacement and it only took a couple of seconds. Next, we're gonna go to the snare top. We're gonna drag that to the groove maps and have a new instance of Superior Drama added to our song. Now we just drag that here and once again ensure that the transpose is on the correct value for snare drums this time. Also notice that the right click had the transpose in the recent items, which is incredibly useful. And let's listen to that now. Without the replacements and with. So as you can hear, this only took us a couple of seconds and we have all the replacements done already without needing any fancy third-party tools. We can do it all right from Studio One. Groove maps are so much more, however, than mere sample replacement tools. You can also use groove maps, as I've shown in my drag and drop video, to adapt the groove of your selection to whatever you have in your groove box. And you can even do so for just the note start, the note end or length, or the velocity. So another application where this can be extremely useful is this one. Say that I have my MIDI part A marked in red and my MIDI part B marked in green. As you can see in this velocity box here, they have different velocities. So say I wanted to have the velocities of track B, the green one, exactly like this on my track A with the red notes but I don't want to have the pitches and note lengths of the second track. I really want to just copy over the velocities. How would you do this traditionally in another DAW? It's almost impossible without replacing everything entirely. Well, in Studio One, all that's required is to just drag the groove template, in this case B, onto the groove maps, and then specify that for track A, I neither want the note start nor the note end to be um, adjusted. I just want the velocity to be exactly like on part B, like my groove template. 
So I want that to be 100%. All that's left to do is click apply. And now you can see that I have the exact same velocity on track B as I have on track A, but the pitches remain untouched.